Okay, so uh, good afternoon, uh, Chris Clarissa. Um, I'm going to share uh, a few words with you. I'll, I'll try to keep it short on the uh, authorities' perspective on the use space. So uh, what you see here is uh, just showing the wide variety of, of aircraft that we uh, are doing something for. Uh, we are the, the Belgian competent authority for aviation, for civil aviation in Belgium, uh, dealing with airspace, uh, ATM, airports, um, a wide range of operators as well. We uh, deliver the licenses for pilots, for outcos. Uh, we check also the training organizations, deal with the airworthiness and uh, the maintenance. And there are, of course, also the relatively new kits on the block, which are the drones, the UAS, uh, the unmanned aerial systems. You see one here on uh, uh, a picture, which is uh, one type, but of course, I think in the future, a wide range of, of uh, drones will also appear in our airspace. And that brings me to, to the role of the BCA in uh, Safir Med, which is why we are all here today. Um, so the, the role of, of the BCA is actually to evaluate requests for drone operations. Um, we deliver the authorizations based on the European regulations for drones, the, the 947 of 2019. Uh, because these operations are typically take, taking place in the specific category of operations, um, be it visual line of sight, extended visual line of sight, or uh, beyond visual line of sight. Uh, we do this evaluation based on, on the files that we receive uh, from the operator, um, typically based on the PDRA, so the predefined risk assessments uh, from EASA, or also the, the SORA, the specific operations risk assessment from the operator. Um, what we consider there is, is the ground risk as, as well as the air risk, and we also look at the mitigations that are provided, like for instance for the, the ground risk, the parachutes on board, or the emergency response plans. And we also support the stakeholders when we uh, think that it is necessary to, to look for alternative uh, solutions or alternative trajectories, for instance. Also, when it comes to airspace, if uh, airspace restrictions are necessary, um, we are the authority to, to deal with those uh, requests for airspace restrictions, typically uh, TSA, so the, the temporary segregated airspace, uh, and this is still required uh, at this moment for uh, beyond visual line of sight operations. And very important, we also are eager to learn from um, demonstrators, uh, from, from the experience of, of these tests, because I think it's, it is very important. So. The next level, I would say, the next step is, is use space, the, the use space as it is meant in the, in the regulations. And um, in order to be ready for that, we have a, a set up a project within uh, the BCA, uh, a project that focuses on the, the state role, the authority role, and also on, on the regulations. And uh, this project will go uh, for a first set of initial uh, use space, uh, that's, that's within the scope. And we also do this in close collaboration with, uh, with SKYS, with our ANSP. Of course, we look at, at the regulations, that's our basis, that's our, our Bible. So uh, these regulations, as I said before, will become effective um, as from 26th of January next year. Um, and of course, it's, it's up to the state still to decide whether use space is established in the state. So this is not an obligation, but I, I see huge interest to do so. Um, we also base ourselves on draft um, soft law, acceptable means of compliance and guidance material, and we also look forward to the result of the discussions on the uh, single European Sky 2 Plus package, because also there, uh, there, is, uh, there are some regulations dealing with use space, notably for the common information service provider cost and pricing. So these are the, the, the steps foreseen in this project, it's, it's not rocket science. We uh, are determining uh, a Belgian framework, which is, of course, complementary to the European framework, and which consists of uh, a royal decree that we are drafting as we speak. Uh, things that we want to include in that royal decree will be um, the designation of the competent authorities, also the designation of the common information service provider, and that will be uh, normally SKYS, uh, and also the modalities on how to designate in Belgium this uh, use space. Also, things like resources and uh, procedures make uh, part of this, uh, of this Belgian framework. Next step will be the designation of use space, where we do a study of uh, this initial set of use space. 
Um, one of the things we have to do there is, is this uh, so-called airspace risk assessment, and it also includes uh, a job to coordinate and to consult with other uh, stakeholders, with other authorities. This will bring us to the formal decision on use space, where to establish use space, and this, of course, will then be published for manned aviation in the AIP and for uh, the drone community in our drone guide. And then the last part will be uh, the certification and the safety oversight uh, done by, by the authority. This is also an important element. Um, and there will be the new certification of the, the single CISP, the Common Information Service Provider, as well as the USSPs, if they are established in Belgium. That's also one of our duties. For the ANSP, they already have a certificate, of course, uh, but they will have to adapt their procedures if they uh, if, if we establish use space um, in controlled airspace. And so that will be managed through the change management procedure. And then last but not least, once use space is up and running, uh, we will monitor and assess the safety performance. And that will be uh, an input for our risk-based oversight. So that's, uh, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Thanks very much.